Hey, what's up? What's up? It's your boy, Pastor Ron. Welcome back to Faith Talk with Pastor Ron. I was quietly in, you know, browsing the internet to see what's going on. And I happened to stumble upon a video of Charles, Charlie Kirk debating Jesus. And when I clicked on it, it's about an eight minute video. When I clicked on it, I was just astonished. And I was worried about how people are viewing Jesus and how our generation has it messed up. So I want to get this, give my reaction and share this video with you and see what you think. Let's talk. So let's upload this video. Let's let's share the screen because this, this is this is something I really, really find crazy. I, I don't think you understand how crazy this particular <laughs> video is to me. Um, let's, you know, ignore Jesus. We know it's heretical to have a Jesus I'm not, let's let's stray from that and and watch the content. While I'm pulling up this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. And at the end, make sure you share it with your friends and family, because I believe this is gonna bless your soul. So let's share this video. Boom. Okay. So here's a video. I'm gonna open this video up loud so everybody could see. Is that your whole thing? Thank oh, you, that's awfully heretical, but okay. Well, I heard you kept saying my name, so I wanted to show up. You know, okay. I'm busy trying to save the planet from this apocalypse going on. You know what I mean? Jesus H. Christ. But uh... Again, let's not focus on the biblical and heretical. The, the purpose of this video is not to debate Jesus, but to show the conversations. I know, I know it's not right to have a Jesus. I know all this stuff. But I actually wanted to point out a couple of points. Let's call me Josh. All right, uh, why don't you ask me the questions? I'm sure you have plenty of them. Okay, what's the Hebrew word for uh, father? Man, I, you know, let me tell you something. Uh, Abba. I'm sorry? Abba. That's the Greek word for father. Yeah, Greek, you know, whatever. Point I'm trying to say is this, yeah, man. You don't even make a good Jesus. Wh whatever. What, what language did Jesus speak? Aramaic. Okay. So off the rip, Charlie Kirk just starts to go into a, a litany of questions and to disprove or to... um diminish Jesus Christ. Like if instead of attacking and using it as an opportunity for dialogue, he uses the, his, the first couple of seconds of this just to tear him down. Like let, let's debate, let's talk about that and not tear the other person and discredit the other person and what they're saying, because what he's doing is trying to skirt the issues and to, to discredit Jesus. Tell me one thing but in you Aramaic. Have to understand, man, I have to come here to speak to you now. You don't speak Aramaic, otherwise you and me would be speaking Aramaic. Oh, okay, I have to right. speak this kind of dumbed down stuff for the you. The enemy has come to lie, steal, cheat, and destroy. What did Jesus say? Uh, I said, love your neighbor. Wrong. And how is that come, working out, by the, the way? enemy has come uh, to lie, I'm pretty sure steal, I said, love on, your neighbor, love God, You're not even a good God, Jesus. It's, and, one, of the most, and love it's one of the most popular verses in the Bible. John 10, 10, the enemy has come to lie, steal, cheat, and destroy. Who wrote that thing anyways? I have... Again, he's just discrediting Jesus the entire time. Come to give life Bible. and life more abundantly. Okay, so you don't even know the scriptures, and you're pretending to be Jesus. But tell me why you're. Here. I am Jesus, and I didn't write the scriptures. I lived them. And and but the main thing I want to tell you, you is this: I said, love your neighbor and love everybody. That's yeah. something that you guys really need to figure well, out. Hold on and a I know I got some of my fans let, let, here. Hold on a second. Hold on. My, what, what are those two verses? My name was love Yeshua. Your let's let's get love your neighbor as yourself. Where is that in the Bible? I don't know. Okay, so instead of arguing that point and emphasizing love, what he does is, is where is it in the Bible? He he knew off the rip that this guy did not know his scriptures that well. He did not know what, what Bible verses. So instead of talking about the topic, typical gaslighting tactics, typical um, conservative tactic to, to, to distract from the issue, he wants to say, where is it in the Bible? No. Talk about love. Oh, no, I didn't write yeah, it. Leviticus 19. Hold on. I, I, didn't thought, write the Bible. I thought you're Jesus. I'm you, Jesus. You, you know it's the Torah, about right? Me, not by me. Oh, hold on a Look, second. The point is this, my Hold friend. On. Jesus, I said, love Jesus your was your neighbor and love you're everybody. You're paddling so fast because you don't no, even no, know no, the Torah as a pretend Jesus. I'm saying the same Jesus. thing I was saying hold the on first a time. Love? I, you see, nobody believed me the first time I was here and then you fucking love? crucified me. Love? I was trying to say this, man. Love everybody. Love your neighbor. Stop killing everybody. Genocides are bad. How about that? You want to put that in the Bible? You can have that as well. Okay, so you want to stop killing people who are just sitting there I, that would be probably you, a good you idea to connect with israel hamas is that your uh, thing pretty or? much the whole world okay. at this point we got a lot of issues Ke uh, Dr kendrick drake I mean, what else is going on around here <laughs> okay look, so i will say on. this they but, not like us and this is pretty obvious but i will uh, look, the point i'm trying to make to you uh what was your name again charlie chad Chadley? i thought you're jesus you know everything, man. 
No, man, I'm too busy. I got an actual job oh, to do. Oh, yeah, so you believe in a like, God who's too busy. If, not, if I were not, like not you, I'd be able to kind of sit God, here yeah. and, you know, pretend that you're You're the important. worst Jesus but I've the, ever seen. I'm the like, only Jesus. And I will say this, Jesus, I am right. the only one. Matter of fact, and I live in all of you, and thank you for making time for me, by the way. It's touché, been a while. Touché. Look, I would say this. If you really are a, a, a fan of mine and you're in my fan club, just just be a nicer person, man. Well, just where does it say to be nice in the Bible? Boom. Boom. He says, if you are a follower of Jesus and about all these points that you knew, that you know, be a nice person. Be nice to each other. Be nice to other races. Be nice to those that don't agree with you. The Bible says, I will know that you are my disciples based on how you love. Not loving your friends. Christ said pagans love their friends. Pagans love those that agree with them. But the, the true disciple and follower of Jesus Christ understands the fact that he has to love his enemies. The one the, the a Democrat must love a Republican. Um, we must love the rich and the poor we must love Trump and Biden. We need to love. It's pretty much all over no, there. That, I mean, that was kind of what the does the point, word nice mean in Latin? The point I was trying to it means make ignoramus. Where does it So right here he discredits love, being nice. So in his mind, Christians do not need to be nice. And this is prevalent in the church where everyone thinks because I'm so deep, because I'm at a certain place, you don't got to be nice, especially to those that don't believe you, especially those who are on the other side of the aisle. Christians, according to Charlie Kirk, a very influential person, do not have to be nice. Love, Say, wait, in the love, can you tell me the Ten more, Commandments? How about a, Let's more. go for the Ten Commandments. Want to do it Quit together? Pivot, Says no. you're Jesus. Let's, Let's go. get off a nice talk with Ten Commandments. Uh, don't be an asshole. Number oh, one. Okay, hold on. How about no, number sorry. one for ten? I apologize. Don't be an asshole. Wait, hold on. No, actually, that's, that's not one of the Ten Commandments. I am the Lord that, that, that you delivered you from Egypt. You shall know the gods before me. You shall know the craven images. You shall never take the Lord's name in vain. You shall honor your mother and father. You shall live long in the land in which you are in. You shall honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not cut your neighbor's wife. We got a sinner going over here. One, and a two, and a three. Oh, we got a sinner like soul. We got a you sinner. Don't know the Give decalogue. it up for okay. the sinner, everybody. Give it up for the sinner, right. everybody. Good job. So I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna stop sharing, and I'm gonna get back. So I think. You know, they go on to talk about the war in Hamas. They talk about Israel, and um, I just want to pause that very quickly, and I just want to just get your attention that we are continually saying that Christians don't have to be nice and that Charlie Kirk knows his 10 commandments. He knows what the, what the Lord has said. He knows what Yahweh has says, but is he living it? We need to get away from, from an emphasis of talking about um, live of knowing and living. Yes. I know the word, Do you know, the author of the word. Yes, I know what the scripture says, what the Torah or the Bible, whatever it says. But do you actually know what's being said and are you living it? Don't know just to say I know. Don't know scripture just to win a debate. I want you to understand the importance and the necessity of knowing and living the word. Too many of us, we know the word, but we don't live it. Our lives are completely the opposite of actually what the Bible says. So I think it's crucial for us to realize the importance of knowing and living the word. Let's continue. Thank you All for, right. uh, you, you are the worst Jesus. You don't know the Ten Commandments. You don't know anything. So Do thank you know, very much. Okay, you're but you're a thank Christian, you. but you don't love people. No, so I, actually, I don't I, think you're doing love, the job. Hold on a second. Mm. I love all people. What do you mm. think about the one million abortions that happen every single year in this country? Is that a genocide to you? No, what's a genocide is what's... Talks about love, right? Instead of focusing on love, he goes to another talking point. It's just to pivot from love. What's going on in Palestine right now? Hold on, That's hold on, a hold on. Don't backpedal. You're the king of the I'm world. I'm not backpedaling. I'm right here hold in front on. of you. Let's just have moral clarity. Do you think a million abortions a year is a genocide? Let me ask you this. Do you think 15,000 children is a genocide? No, it's not even close. It's a tragedy. Oh, it's, it's not, not a genocide. Even close. Hold on. Let's okay, get, let's, let's get our... Let, he said... Losing 15,000 children, I was referring to the Palestinian children, children during this war, is not a genocide, but it's a tragedy. Next topic. He didn't emphasize on how, on the, the negativity. He just uses a, a quick retort. It, it is a tragedy. 
but he also uses a quick retort to avoid talking about the genocide, wants to talk about abortions. The abortions and the, and the, what's happening in Israel is nowhere near the same. It is two different planes. Both are wrong. Both are tragedies, but it's completely different. It's completely different for 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 a country to bomb innocent people, women and children who have not signed up, signed up for war. Wow, man, this is crazy. Let's get our. I think this guy doesn't know what a genocide is. What do you guys think? A genocide is an intentional killing of people to exterminate them. That correct? sounds about right. Okay, so sounds like what's going who, on in Palestine right now. Well, you mean it's right? an active hmm. war that Gaza started? Uh, no, that's a genocide. Let, let's let's let's, let's look take at the, a step back. The, let's how look did, at the let's look at the that's been start? going on there since the 1940s. How or did before this war that was start? Zionism, which is a form of European settler colonialism, which I'm sure you're war, a big fan of. How I did this war start? How did this war start? Yes. Well, do you want to take it all the way back to the early 1900s? No, no, no. On October 6th, and we might as well Israel... take it back. Tell you what, I was there for a lot of wars. You what? know, you know, when I was around, there was a war going on. on. October, there was an occupation on going on. Matter of fact, when I was, was around, Israel there was an occupation going on. Do you know who was occupying my home when I was around the first time? You, you mean like the, the Romans, the right? shoddy Seattle's apartment that you grew the, up the, in the, when the, you played the Jesus on the afternoon? The Romans? You know, the Romans, Romans all right. The, 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 uh, the people you wish you were descended from, but you're really not. Uh, okay, not even sure what you mean by that. I'm asking you a question. On October yeah. 6th, <laughs> was Israel actively at war with Hamas? On this day right now, what is going on in Rafa? Hold on, just answer the question, Why man. Why don't you like, answer that question? I'm happy to. Israel is go rightfully ahead. invading Rafa to go kill rightfully. every How last— How is it rightfully? Hold on, because I'm getting there. You have to go answer ahead. the question. On October 6th, was Israel at war with Hamas? I'm asking you a question. What's going on right now in Palestine? I've answered the question, first of all. In no, I don't think you answered Gaza, it correctly. Not in Palestine, in Gaza, which is a strip south of Israel. Israel is rightfully invading Rafah to kill every last Hamas terrorist. Why? Because That's you, not rightful when ha, you kill ha, a bunch of children. You're not answering the question, so I'll answer it for you. You know what happened on October 7th? A dress rehearsal to Holocaust 2.0 oh, wow. is what you happened on October 7th. Land. Oh, what and, and what happened one, before on, that? No, 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 what, no, no. what happened on October 6th? And stop trying to what justify. What happened on October 6th? For, on October 6th, nothing happened. Oh, really? You know what happened? It was the day before one of the most holy days on the Jewish calendar. What happened you, Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Something did happen on October, October 6th. 6th. You know what October 6th happened? All the Arab terrorists were getting ready to go kill babies and women in Israel oh, to go right? invade rock concerts. Co Gaslighting again. Puts his, and nurseries and, where are they right? where and are those, slit where little those, babies' throats. Where are those Arab babies now? Well, I'm sorry, Arab babies? Yeah, you mean the where Jewish are they babies? at now? No, I'm talking about the Arab ones now. Well, hold on. You're talking about How many of them civilians died? that How have... How many of them died and are dying right you now? You mean civilians you that have there with your microphone they did, on? They, they brought it upon themselves, man. I don't think so. And well, that's not something I support. <laughs> wow. well, so on. I will say this in closing, because this guy is a buffoon and definitely not a fan of mine or has represented anything of mine. I well, will say this. He doesn't even know the, the Ten Commandments. The point I'm trying to say is to love everybody. That's it. Just stop killing everybody. Love everybody. Maybe you and me can get a kosher hot dog what? after this. I think it would be great. What, what love is, your neighbor, and uh, they not like us. That's all I got. Love your neighbor as yourself, Leviticus 19, Deuteronomy 3 through 5. Hero Israel, I am the Lord your God. Love the Lord your God with their heart, soul, strength, and mind. He's Jesus, but not a very good one. Okay, let's get on up here. Who wants to come next? Yes. So this is, <laughs> this is interesting. This was a very, very interesting um, video and share. Um, it, it's scary because Charlie Kirk has a lot of influence over this generation and over a lot of people. He's very powerful. If you don't know who he is, find out who he is. He is very powerful. His words inspire. His words are powerful. But he's also a microcosm of our generation, of the world that we live in. Where people know the scripture, don't live the scripture. People learn certain certain scriptures just to support their narrative and support their their point, but not to follow Jesus. Again, I I don't think, and I, I apologize for any um bad language. That was I'm, I'm totally sorry. I didn't realize it was in there, but I also realized that even the Jesus he discredited. You know, even the Jesus was was wrong, and I understood like he's not. It's not good to have to walk around looking like Jesus. I'm I'm not supporting that at all. Please. But the purpose of sharing this is to see the content that's being shared and what's being out there. And I'm not saying and either side is right. I think Charlie Kirk had some good points and the quote unquote, Jesus had a good point. But I think the key is to love. That's the heart of what why Jesus came is to love. And if we sit here and we're engaging in these 
um, apologetical discussions and comments and arguments and fights, we're going to miss out on Jesus. We're going to lose out on why he came and why he's here. So it's scary to see such things happening on campuses and on in a public forum. If you go on any social media platform, it's the same exact way. People are just debating and not listening and not trying to learn from each other. There was so much to learn and glean if they listen to each other. I wish he could use this platform for so much more positivity, but not just to get clickbait, not just to, uh, to get folks to support and to push propaganda out there. So tell me what you think. What do you think with the video? Am I off on that? What's your, what is your reaction? What is your thought? I gave mine. Please share with what yours. And I pray this blesses you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Thank you. Thank you for your time. God bless you. I love you guys. Peace.